journey, uh, my journey started in 2018. Uh, I had a uh, young child back, back then, he was 2.5 years old. And that was the time I had uh, worked uh, in a uh, company, in a MNC, uh, for uh, some time before my marriage. After marriage, I had a child and I stopped working. And uh, it was then, back in 2018, uh, September 8th, I also remember the day, I made it a point that, okay, I'll start preparing for uh, the APC exams. And it was my husband, my initial uh, pillar of support or the motivation or the person who told that you start studying for, uh, you start preparing for this exam was my husband. So initial credit goes to him and not only initial, all throughout these years, uh, because this journey has been a long journey, it took me four years to reach up to this stage. So it has not been an easy journey. You know, uh, it's easy when we uh, when we are successful, we speak about big words, you know, I have studied this many years, I have studied this, that, but those days, I, I believe everyone will agree with me. There were days when it was so difficult to get up and sit in the table. You know, those were the days uh, which I think which determines whether you reach up to that stage or not. If you can push yourself through those days, uh, you can definitely be not only ACS or anything else in this world. So yes, so there were many difficult days at that time. My family, my husband, even my son, he knows better than me. <laughs> you know, I was more scared that how he will react if I don't pass. So yes, uh, my child, my father, you know, I want to say something here. There were days when I, I lacked motivation. Seriously, I used to find it very difficult to study. Then I had this one piece of motivation with me. I used to close my eyes and just think about what if it happens that my name is in the list, probably on the top of the list, how will my father react? He is in the stage right now. And I used to imagine he will call each and every person in contact list and he did that. Right, my phone rang for uh, some uh, that night of the exam, but his phone still rings. Still people call him and for 2-3 days continuously his phone was ringing and he was calling out people. He was so happy. My mother, she is not present here, but I think if I am able to big dream, it is because of my mother. My mother always tells me one thing that if you want to become something, if you want to achieve something, then start thinking about you. Don't uh, don't just keep it like, okay, I wish this will happen, then I will do this or this might happen, then I will start preparing. No, you start thinking about it in your mind. Maybe at this day it, will not, it is not possible, but it will be possible in real future. But first of all, you have to think about it. To think and start preparing. And there are some people, like I said, my husband has always been a source of motivation. You might have seen, I have always spoken about this. Uh, in our house, there has no been, like we see in our society generally, the workload after marriage especially goes to the women. Uh, the rearing of a child, from cooking food to washing clothes, everything is only, uh, you know, it's, it is upon the women to do all those work. But our house, uh, it, it has never been a rule like that. My husband uh, used to do everything. He supported me uh, mentally in, in every uh, every possible way, I would say. He used to cook food, he used to look after the child, he used to wash clothes as well. You know, it is not very uh, popular or not very, uh, like I'll say people, many gents might hear think, how can a man cook? But if a man can go into the kitchen, then only a woman can go into the office. Right? So, yes. So it is not only upon the women, the men in our society must also support the women so that the women, if we share the responsibilities at home, then only we can believe or we can think about sharing the responsibility in the offices as well. And uh, what would I say, the rest of it, uh, I see many bright faces over here. See, uh, it's not an easy journey, uh, civil services say, or oh my, whatever there is, because it's a very competitive world right now. And you need to prepare very consistently. So if you prepare consistently, if you work hard, uh, nothing is impossible. Think about it, dream big to the girls. See, boys uh, can think of uh, dreaming big, but girls, I see their dreams are very limited. So when I started preparation, these two motives were mainly in my mind. Uh, first of all, yes, the public service, the field which I always wanted to enter into. And second, to inspire the girl. If, if at least two, three girls from this, from here, I hope everyone gets selected, but yes, if at least some of the girls get selected in this process, in UPSC, APEC, say, then I think uh, that will be the real success that I have dreamt of. So please come forward, dream big, sapno ki ko ishtima nahi hoti hai, aur har kisi ko sapne dekhne ki haak hai. Chahe aap lerki ho, larka ho, shadi ho, bachcha ho, kuch bhi ho jai. And see, you have a very strong backbone over here, this IS Academy, my brother is, 
he always tells me about that they have hired the best teachers even those teachers are they are renowned teachers of delhi now you don't go, don't have to go to guwahati even for any type of coaching or guidance you can everything at your doorstep take this opportunity and uh, you know make the best use of it and uh, all the best to all of you uh, may uh, you all succeed in future and thanks a lot for almond foundation for all these opportunities that you have given upon us thank you all thank you